Years ago when I got involved in this industry, it was this guy, he was like a multi-billionaire in the UK. And he collected animals that he would put in his camp compound, not like chickens and, and, and horses and cows like you mother, okay? <laughs> right? But it, it, he had like this exotic zoo. And it was this one animal that no one in the world had. And this billionaire said if anyone could catch this animal, and they only knew of it to be one of its kind, he would give them $10 million to catch this one animal. So he put out the word, and all across the world, people started coming to audition to be a part of his team to catch this animal. It was some bounty hunters, they had some animal catchers, some government agents, and one businessman. Y'all got that? Okay. You got the bounty hunters, you got the animal catchers, government agents, and one businessman. They showed up and they had four weeks to get this done. But of course, they were going for the $10 million prize, so each of them had seven days. Well, the bounty hunters went over the course of seven days, ran themselves ragged trying to catch this animal because one of the things I didn't tell you is that the exotic animal was one of the fastest in the world. They could never catch up with it. So it didn't work for the bounty hunters. The animal catchers didn't work for them either. The government agents, even though they had all these secret, you know, type ideas, these cameras that you, they can look at you from space, they still couldn't get it done. But the businessman was developing a plan. While everybody else was just going out trying to make it happen, he was developing a plan. So he showed up in the middle of this jungle that was in the Amazon rainforest, and he put out there this huge square concrete pallet. And in the middle of that concrete pallet, he actually put this fruit that he know the animal like. The first night went by, the fruit was there, but the animal came through, swept up the fruit, and kept going. The next night, he put the fruit there. The animal came out, saw the fruit, looked around, started eating the fruit. And while the animal was eating the fruit, the businessman had somebody sneak up behind him and put one bar on one end of that concrete pallet. And he walked away. The next night, same thing happened. He put the food right in the middle of that concrete pallet. The animal came out, looked around, nobody was looking. He was pretty comfortable when he started to eat the fruit again. Man came out and put another bar right on the end of that concrete pallet. Next night, same thing happened. The animal came out, looked around, nobody was there, started eating the fruit, having a good time, not even noticing. The man came out again and put another bar on the other end. And of course, you know, the next night, same thing happened. The animal came out, started eating the fruit. Then the man came out and put another bar on the other end. By the last night, the animal came out, but this time, the animal wasn't by himself. He actually had a group of the same kind of animals just like him. They went into the concrete little space, started eating the fruit. And the day before, while of course the animal wasn't there, he had put sides up on top of that concrete pallet with those bars around. And as soon as all animals went in there and started eating the fruit, sharing it, relaxing, enjoying it, he just shut the four sides and captured about 10 of those exotic animals. So instead of the businessman getting $10 million, he actually got $100 million. <laughs> it was a, an exotic animal. <laughs> so the news reporters from all over came and they were like, how did this businessman, he had no experience in capturing animals. He had no experience in construction and all these kinds of things to build this, this, this whole cage that he built. You know, but what he did over the course of time, even before he came, he invested in the seminars, he invested into people, and he invested into a plan to be able to make it happen. And after it was all over, they asked him, well, how did you capture these animals? What did you do, especially that these other guys didn't do? And it's simple. I treated these animals just like I treat my employees. He said, I give them food, I give them water, I give them shelter, and I make them feel comfortable. And over the course of time, before they know it, in exchange for these small things I give them, they give me their whole life. I said, that's how I captured these animals.
See, I want you to think about this. Are you the animal in the story? Are you getting to a point where you're so comfortable with being where you are, even though you say you're not, that you're not willing to step outside of what you currently know to go somewhere else in your life? 